today on the channel of Stodds191, I'll be interviewing the up and coming superstar YouTuber Daniel Stoddart. Recently, he's just hit the massive milestone of 200 subscribers. Today, we'll be seeing out why. Right, everyone, let's give him a round of applause for the show. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> no need to applause. Alright, mate. No. Oh, thank you very much for having me. That's alright, no need time. So, Daniel, what do you like most about your fans? Oh, George, it's quite an easy question. Um, they're very awesome, to be honest. Uh, a lot of support, a lot of support. They find me funny, I'm very entertaining, I've had a lot of positive feedback, and they're very active on the social network that we use, which is Twitter. Um, in terms of their feedback, uh, the constructive criticism is very uh, welcomed. I really appreciate it because it allows me to sort of improve my videos and it makes it a lot easier to produce them because I know if I'm doing it right or wrong and whether videos have gone well. Okay, so Daniel Kelly has asked a question I think we are all wanting to know at this point. Which dinosaur describes you best? It's quite a tough one to be honest. Um, I'm certainly not Tyrannosaurus Rex because I am in fact not a big boy. However, I am quite agile and I do like a bit of meat. I like the sausage. So, I think I'm going to go for the Velociraptor. Yeah, wise choice. Velociraptor has always been my favourite. Yes, exactly. Okay, Josh Holmes has asked, why did you start YouTube? And where do you see yourself in five years? The reason why I started YouTube is uh, I wanted to entertain people. I wanted them to see the funny moments that I have with other friends. Uh, because I've seen other people do it and I think, you know what, it'd be really cool if I could share these moments uh, with other people as well. So I gave that a go and it, it seems to be working so far. Um, where I see myself in five years, definitely for more subscribers, I'd like to continue doing YouTube and grow popularity. So I mean, we've hit 100 in like four days. Uh, well, sorry, we gained 100 subscribers in four days and that's a crazy number to be thinking like, it's 25 subscribers a day, like, it's insane so you know in five years i'm hoping to be somewhere big you know a lot of subscribers and doing a lot of meetups meeting a lot of people entertaining them. abigail reed has asked have you been to glasgow or scotland winky face <laughs> smiley face <laughs> laughing face winky face smiley face no i haven't i have uh, never been to scotland therefore i've never been to glasgow uh would i like to go <laughs> Perhaps, I mean, it's probably very similar to England, but I'll, I'll give it a go, I'll go down. Daniel asks, how long have you done YouTube for, and where are you from? I've been, technically speaking, I've been doing YouTube for five years. I uh, initially started on a small channel called DSOTS when I was about 12. Uh, I did Minecraft, um, but only Minecraft, that's all I did. You know, back then it didn't really. I didn't look at view account. I didn't look at subscriber account. I just I made videos, and I like let people watch them. And then I sort of gave up, um, just randomly, and then decided to make another YouTube account called Stoss Gameplay. I did one video on that, one Minecraft video, and then I gave up on that as well. <laughs> as you can see, I'm very dedicated to my channels. And then, uh, I think it was two years ago, I made a channel called JDL. I did it with two other friends. Uh, that didn't kick off at all. I enjoyed the videos we were making, you know, it was fun, great time, but it never kicked off at all. We didn't spread the word enough, so well, we abandoned that as well. And now I'm here with this channel. And if, you, if you've looked at my upload schedule, I did in fact give up around late September. Uh, but I've recently got back, back into it. I've, uh, you know, hyped it up, we've got a lot of followers and active followers on Twitter now and the channel's growing so all in all I've been doing it since I was about 12 so it's about five, six years now but dedicated properly I'd say about a month. And in terms of where I'm from, I am from Peterborough. Mm. Farisha Tahiruddin <laughs> has asked, are you born perfect? So Farisha Tahiruddin Farisha Tahiruddin. Farisha. Fucking hell, couldn't you just name him Mike or something? Farisha Tahiruddin has asked, Are you born perfect? 
Well, it's, let's be honest, I'm beautiful. Look, look at this face. I'm stunning. So, to answer that question, I popped out of Lay Mummy and my hair was on fleek. And I was perfect because as soon as she saw me, she was like, he's perfect. And I, I was. Get Well Soon Con <clears throat> has said, How did you get into YouTube? Did anyone inspire you? And what age were you when you started uploading videos? As I've answered previously, uh, I was in fact 12 when I initially started. Uh, I'm now 17, so uh, to technically speak, I was 17 when I, uh, de when I was probably dedicated to it. Um, in terms of when I initially started, when I was 12, the Zendika project made me want to do YouTube. You know, I started making a lot of Minecraft videos, like I said. Um, so he's the sole reason for that. But, but with anyone else inspired you into YouTube other than the Syndicate Project? Uh, in terms of these real life videos, Joe Weller, Joe Sugg, uh, especially and Casper, those three especially, I watch them quite a lot. Uh, and I like the content they make. It's very good, and I want to get to that stage at some point. Liam underscore Littlefair asks, "Do you even lift, bro?" But, right, of course I lift. Unforgettable Sense asks, where do you see yourself in 10 years? 10 years from now, I'd like to s still see myself doing YouTube, you know, it's a dream. I'd love to be s doing it. I'd love to be big, like I've said previously. Um, you know, I, I feel like I want to drop my mixtape in a couple years, you know. Um, that'll create a lot of fire. It's going to be pretty good. Um, I'll win the MMA Championship in about seven years and I'll move to LA. But other than that, I want to dedicate myself to YouTube. It'll be pretty good. Stella asks, sex, marry, avoid the Kardashians. Easy, 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 easy. I will have sex with Kylie Jenner, marry Kendall Jenner, and then I'll avoid Kim Kardashian. Because if I avoid Kim Kardashian, I avoid Kanye West. And Kanye not, thank you very much. Fangirl Randomness asks, can you put toothpaste all over your face for your viewers? Funny you ask that, George. Have some Aquafresh right here. Boom. Just for you. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> there you go. Thought I'd do a makeup tutorial for you. This is how they hit the button. It's burning my eyes. It's gone. I think I could go. I think I got all of it. Okay, so that is it for the Stodds 191 interview. Uh, he's Dan Stoddart. He's sure to blow up soon and get more than 200 subscribers. Uh, the links will be below if you want to check out any of his stuff. Thank you very much. Well, just click the subscribe button under this video if you watch on a laptop. If you're on an iPad, top right, you can just bang subscribe. It's perfectly fine. Thank you very much for coming, Daniel. Cheers, man. I really appreciate yeah. it. Good luck in the bit. future. Man. And you. And you. Neither do I tell you what, that was the fucking worst interview of my life. Stupid prick. 200 subscribers, I quit my fucking job. Done with this shit. Bye!